Hello all, I'm Archit and I'm a developer at MathWorks. I will be talking about a new way to model pulse width modulation or PWM in Simulink. PWM is a common concept to achieve switching behavior needed by the power electronics. In Simulink, we often use oversampling approach to generate this PWM signal. This can be quite expensive computationally. As an example, I will use this voltage regulator circuit model. As you can see, this has a feedback control loop that uses a boost converter circuit to regulate the output voltage. We use a simple PID controller to generate a desired duty cycle needed for the PWM signal. Here is how I model a PWM signal using Simulink block. Now let's run the model. As you can see, the simulation takes about 80 seconds. There could be many ways to optimize this simulation. One such method could be the new PWM block introduced in R2020B. It allows you to generate a PWM signal efficiently. Now let's modify the model to use this new block. To do this, I will delete my custom PWM block, type in PWM for the quick insert to find the correct block and make the connections. Let's run the model again and see how it goes. As you can see, it only takes 10 seconds, from 80 seconds to 10 seconds. That's quite significant, isn't it? Now the key takeaway here is that the new PWM block updates the output only at the switching points. This helps us get this 8x speed up. Now I know some of you have been using some other versions of PWM block available in different toolboxes. In many cases, you could benefit by replacing those blocks with this new block. However, as we start building more complex models, and need more precise PWM implementation, we would want to go back to those blocks in the domain-specific toolboxes. Lastly, I want to highlight some of the other capabilities that the PWM block has to offer. For example, you can turn on the parameter disallow zero duty cycle in the PWM block to break the algebraic loops. In R2022B, PWM block has a new parameter initial delay. You can use this to add a delay or a lag in the generated signal. You can also use this to model phase shift between two pulse signals, something like this. In summary, I would encourage all of you who need to work with PWM signals to try out this new PWM block. It's available in Simulink starting R2020B.